The IDX maps that we have on our IDX broker pages are great. I think they're amazing in terms of their design, but we've had some people ask us if it's possible to add Google Maps instead. So instead of showing this IDX map, showing a Google Maps. Um, and we actually have an app for that. It's called IDX Maps to Google Maps. And all you have to do um, to turn it on is to toggle this button right here. You do have to do some things to activate an API key that I'm going to show you um, how to do. But the first thing you need to do is go on apps, IDX map to Google Maps and activate this. This is the default style, but there are also other styles that you can choose from. And the map would now be coming from Google Maps. Um, this is an example of what it would look like. So this is a Google Maps right here on four premier properties. Another one over here in City Insights Houston. Another one here in Gardner Group Realtors in Park City, Utah. As you can see, it looks different um, than the IDX map here. And when you click on a property here, it does show which property it is on the side. So if you want to get Google Maps, you have to have a Google account and you need to have an API key that is working. Um, so if you go here on API keys on, and in Google Maps, you have to have a key right here. If you click on the I button, there is a tutorial on how to get the API key. There is a set of instructions that you need to follow to get it working. It's not complicated, but it has various things you, that you need to make sure that are working um, for it to show up correctly without um, any problem. So um, we follow this tutorial and we get here using API keys and I'm logged into a Google account. So there are a few things that you need to do. The first thing is to have a project with a billing account and have the Maps JavaScript API enabled. Let's follow this link right here that says to learn more, see this. So the first thing that this tutorial says is to create a new project. If you follow this link, create new project, it will take you here. If you already have a project, you don't need to create it. If you don't just um, add a name to it and click on create. I already have a project and it's right here. It's called Homes IDX. On this new project page, you have to fill out the information that it asks you to. So project name, project ID, and then you need to set up a billing account and a location. So that's the next step, enable billing. In the Cloud Council go to billing page. So we click on go to billing page and it will take you here. This is the project that I have, Homes IDX. You click on it and it says this project has no billing account. For Google Maps to work, you do need to have a billing account because it does have a charge. So Google charges um, a certain fee to get this map running. So I would click on link a billing account and then create billing account and add in all of the information. I'm not going to do this right now because I don't want to activate maps on this account, but you would just follow the instructions that um, this gives you so that you have a billing account and that it's active. So you would probably need to add a credit card, debit card, PayPal account, something like that. Here are more details on what you would need to do. So we have the project, we have the billing account, and then we need to enable the APIs. To view the enabled APIs, you would click on this page right here. Click on the project. And we have these APIs that we don't have enabled right now. So the first one we need to enable is this one, Maps JavaScript API. We would click on enable. Then we would go back, place this API, click on enable. So after that, we have those three things set up. We have a project, we have a billing account, we have um, the APIs enabled. So we would now go back to the page we were before using API keys. And we would go to this page, the credentials page. I've now enabled the two APIs, the Maps JavaScript and Places API, so I can now go to credentials. In this case, we don't have an API key and we need an API key for the map to work. So the tutorial says we need to create an API key. On the credentials page, click create credentials and API key. So let's go here, create credentials, API key. And then we would need to click on restrict key. So on applications restrictions, we click on none. And then on API restrictions, 
we select the APIs um, that we just added in. So Maps JavaScript API and Places API. And we click on Save. So once we have that and the billing account is set up correctly, that would be it. Um, we would just copy this key right here and paste it in this section, in the Google Maps section. We click on Save. And if we have this on, it should start showing the Google Maps now, as it does here, here, and here. So you can send us an email to support at realtycandy.com if you have any questions, or you can just sign up to IDX add-ons directly to get access to this service. There are three ways to sign up. Premium for free, you just make us your IDX developer if you have an IDX broker account. Light, if you don't make us your developer, you have access to some of the features. And a paid version if you want all of the features and don't want to make us your developer. So visit idxaddons.com, contact us at support at realtycanny.com with any questions you might have.